in, in a way, uh, this is... Um, I, I don't really mind an earthquake like this as long as nobody really got hurt and there was no big damages because it's a good reminder of, of bigger things that will be coming at some point. So this is an earthquake on a fault that has a long history of doing big earthquakes and even larger ones than this. So in the same sense that we say we cannot predict earthquakes, we had no idea whatsoever this was going to happen today. On the other hand, once it has happened, we say, well, this is a totally expected event. It's not even as large of an earthquake as one might expect on this fault. This is a fault that could easily do a magnitude 7. And if we look back 15 years to the, to the Easter earthquake at that time, that was not on this named fault, but it was on this exact same trend. It was a 7.2 magnitude. So if you get up in the morning thinking, will there be an earthquake today? And there was. Um, didn't know it was coming today, but hopefully everybody's mind knows that when the earth begins shaking, what's the first thing you think about? What can fall on me? What can be thrown at me and hurt me? How do I protect myself? And, of course, what we commonly sell or try to push is the drop, cover, and hold on. So you get underneath that desk, get underneath that heavy table, get under some place where if things do fall, they won't hurt you. And so here was one of those kinds of events. 